Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and in our quest of searching for an interesting antivirus, what are the best antivirus of 2016, we continue with AVG Internet Security. This is not the free version, this is the paid version of AVG. It has much more protection than the free version. So we're going to test this paid version and of course we're going to test the free version, see if it performs as well. So AVG Internet Security is available from the AVG web page. It is around $50 to $70 depending on where you buy it and where you check it. So what's interesting with AVG Internet Security, first of all AVG, and I'm going to show you the interface here, this um, doesn't have a junkware with it. So when you install it, it doesn't ask you for any uh, weird software or anything. It protects you from many, many things. It has, of course, a fixed performance. I would call it junkware as pretty much all the time. These are, uh, for me, pretty much junkware. But what's at least interesting with it is that it didn't um, you know, ask at the install. But I did get a pop-up from the icon here and it told me, oh, you know what, you can fix performance with your computers if you click here. So it's not at the install, but yeah, there's kind of a junkware if you want with it and it sometimes will annoy you with that. So how did it pass my different tests? Uh, the EICAR or ICAR test file passed um, semi well. It let me save the file when I created it manually and it let me open it, meaning that I would have been able to maybe click and execute something. But it did report there was a virus when I scanned the file. So it's not as good. The funny thing is this is a paid antivirus and it was not as good as a Vera Free in that test. That's kind of curious when you think about it. Now when I downloaded the e infected file, it immediately told me that it was infected with something. So that's good. Processor, this is one of the antiviruses as of yet that uses the least processor or CPU time and it was pretty cool for that. Um, it is one of the uh, antiviruses right now that is low in the CPU process. As for memory, it's pretty much in the same amount of memory or RAM that's been used from other antiviruses. So memory usage 85 megabytes when it's idle, 120 megabytes when it's scanning. Uh, that's quite less than 190 megabytes that was on the Avira. But um, what's really amazing is on my test folder, that is a 2.3 gigabyte folder, um, 2 minutes and 50 seconds on Avira, 2 minutes 20 seconds on, def on uh, Windows Defender. What's interesting is this took 35 seconds to scan with AVG. A really really fast scan so um, is it really scanning well that's the other question but it's amazing how in only 35 seconds it actually scanned everything as for the protection itself it has of course as you see here on the right side a firewall and this is something that is not available if you have the free version so basically the paid version has firewall email protection and identity protection which is not available on the free version in general. So firewall is one of those little things here. Uh, it does not have a sandbox mode from what I see so basically it doesn't let you uh, go and run and check stuff in that sandbox mode basically. It does have one thing that I have not seen on the other ones and it's an anti root kit detector so basically when you click on it there is a 
anti-rootkit. A rootkit is um, probably one of the most difficult um, viruses or malware to be detected because it is often in a spots of your hard drive where antivirus have difficulty checking it out and it is one of the most powerful and problematic type of virus basically. Install went well, uh, it was quite easy to install. It is uh, pretty good, you know, no errors, no problems. Uh, I downloaded a piece of software that had malware in it and it passed this test really well. Actually, from the, you know, the test that I've done yet, it's really amazing because when you download a piece of software that has malware or known uh, undesirable stuff in it, it actually pops up a window not only telling you there's malware but actually it tells you all the known malwares that it found inside so my file that I downloaded Avira said no no don't download that is no good Windows Defender said nothing but this one said oh that's no good and it has the following three malwares in it and that I found really truly amazing to know that information. Its biggest flaw is the startup speed. Now, uh, the task manager is telling me in the startup that AVG is low in its um, footprint when we start. In reality, I have to say that it takes a very long time for AVG to actually show up in the taskbar here at the bottom. Yet, in that very long period of time, in that very slow startup time, you can still go down the web and do stuff. So that's one of the things that's interesting here. But still, it really, really is a slow, slow process. And that's kind of interesting here because I've, um, you know, of, of all the the test that I've done yet it's probably the slowest so I'm sure there's going to be other things but uh, it's interesting to see that everything has been slowing down with AVG. Now it does scan the web for correct and uh, you know websites that should be okay but I haven't seen anything that tells me that so if I you know search for um, space for example and click uh, websites appear but I don't see any anything that lets me you know kind of see that there's some kind of scanning of anything in the web pages uh, you know uh, Vera had kind of a scanner that added to the browsers and it would let you know that websites are okay or not here there's no visible way from what I see so that's kind of uh, not super cool because you aren't sure if your visiting sites are okay maybe it is but uh, you know maybe it's working and it's actually detecting when the sites are bad but uh, that's not that much of um, that information interface is quite easy to understand uh, you know these little green uh, the squares with you know computer protected, web protected, and so on. Uh, firewall is active. Tells you that protection is up to date, and the options is simple, but it's to the point of what you need to know as of information. There's a lot of, of course, advanced settings, and so you can uh, you know schedule scans and so on, uh, which by the way is impossible almost with. Uh, the uh, Windows Defender. So uh, overall I actually find that if you take out the fact that it's very slow at the startup process it doesn't really slow down my computer so I can tell you that it's been going pretty well it's actually uh, smooth running everything seems to be working fine and um, the fact that it detects pretty much everything is a pretty amazing antivirus from all the tests that I've done. Not perfect, but it does give me a hint that um, my score 
uh, that I've given for this antivirus. So if I go back, I've given 5.5 to Windows Defender, that's in Windows 10. I've given 7 out of 10 to Avira free. I'll give 8 out of 10 to AVG Internet Security paid version. It does have uh, a hint more. Uh, it did fail a little bit where Avira didn't, but it actually gives you much more information and is much more interesting in the way that it tells you. Instead of just saying you can download this, it actually tells you this is bad and this is what's inside and it's more information and more much more interesting to see that. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10 because I really like it. It doesn't slow down the computer. The only bad thing, and I'd give it a better score if it wouldn't be as slow at startup and if it had passed uh, the test where I just open the uh, file uh, with the uh, kind of pretend virus inside and uh, not detect it. But it scans extremely rapidly and that's very, very amazing. So uh, 8 out of 10, it seems to be a very good antivirus. If you're looking for something uh, in the paid antivirus, AVG Internet Security seems to be a winner. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything you want to know, let us know, of course. And if I haven't tested the antivirus that you'd like to see, let me know and I'll try to post the video. Thank you for following me and thank you for leaving comments and suggestions.